Right. It's the moment. It's that time. It's the moment where you find out if your college football team that looks good is actually that good. And that goes for both these teams. So this is not just me as a Huskies fan saying this. Um, what's going on? It is uh, Friday evening now, so we've got a game in less than 24 hours at home against the Michigan State Spartans. And this is where you find out how good you actually are. Both Both sides. Washington has started 2-0, and so has Michigan State. They've both won their first two games in blowout fashion, putting up big stats, putting up monster numbers, having the game be well over by the third quarter. But despite that, you don't know if the teams are actually that great. Washington came into this year with low expectations, so they're unranked. Michigan State came into the season with good expectations, so they're ranked 11th. But beyond that qualifier, which is always kind of touch and go on whether or not it's good to utilize, we don't know yet because the teams these two guys have played so far are bottom feeders. I think Michigan State played uh, Akron in one of their games, and their other game was a a cakewalk too. Washington, Kent State, Portland, these, these are not teams that anybody expected to be good and they should certainly not be an obstacle for a program like Michigan State or Washington so tomorrow we find out if these guys are for real and specifically we're going to find out if their offenses which have scored over 40 points a game through two games are actually that good and I don't totally know what to expect But my sense is we're getting a lot of points. I feel like we're going to have a high-scoring game. I feel like we're going to have maybe a game where both teams break 35 points. And it might come down to who has the ball last. So me saying that is indicative of the fact that I think this game is going to be very close and could go either way, just depending on the bounce of the ball almost. So... As a Huskies fan, it's nice to be in this position. Last year, we played Michigan. It wasn't even a game. They they basically just ran the ball for four quarters. We couldn't stop them and went the heck home. This year, we're playing a team that is also projected to be very good this year, Michigan State. And I'm not going into that game with those low expectations. And if we actually get waxed like we did against the Wolverines last year, it'll be shocking. Last year, it was just kind of like... Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what I expected. Not this time. So, Washington has mostly been powered by a high-flying passing attack through uh, two games. Michael Penix Jr. has been great for the Huskies, helping drive them to massive point totals and blowout wins in both of their games. Not to say that they're unbalanced as a team, but it has mostly been the passing game. Michigan State, it's the opposite. They have a decent quarterback, Thorne. He's okay, but he is not the driving force behind that team. They have a great rushing attack led by Berger, but um, as a team, over their first two games, they have rushed for 230 yards per game. And again, weak competition, but that is the motor of their team, like it was last year. Last year, they had Ken Walker, and he was the motor behind that team's success. But this year, with no Ken Walker, they're still running the ball first and foremost, and they're having a lot of success with it. They've uh, piled up two games where they had 40-plus points, I believe. And also, I will say this. I don't think this will hold in this game. Both teams were also really good on defense. Both teams did a really good job holding the other team's offenses out of scoring range. I think Michigan State's allowed 13 points on the season. Washington's allowed a few more than that, but both teams have played really well on defense so far. But I'm going to just say this right now. I think this is going to be a game where Michigan State struggles to stop our passing attack, and this is going to be a game where Washington struggles to stop the Michigan State rushing attack. So they're both going to find their ways down the field for big yards and a lot of points, but I think they're just going to do it in slightly different ways. Us with the passing attack... Michigan State with the rushing attack. And obviously, it's not like either team's defense is necessarily bad, 
but I just look at it and I feel like they're not going to be able to hold up because that Michigan State rushing attack, you can see it's not just Ken Walker. It's not just the individual players. They plug in new players this year because they lose players from year to year and they find ways to produce anyway. So that's most of what I can say about this game. Obviously, I haven't watched the first two Michigan State games because they weren't particularly big games anyway, and it was weak competition that you pretty much knew they were going to handle. Of course, I say that, and you look around college football right now, you can see teams that are supposed to win by eight touchdowns losing on a fairly frequent basis. So I don't want to completely toss that out the window here. But neither team has proven everything they want to prove. But you win this game, I think you have especially if it's Washington, because Michigan State is ranked 11th. If you win this game, you're cracking the top 25. So that that kind of sums it up for what I think is going to happen in this game. And I'm going to say this. I'm going to go ahead and just put it out there. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling myself here. I think we can win. We're at home. We've got things that we do very well. We've got creative play calling. We've got a really creative offense that is running the way that you want a college offense to be run when you're a pass first attack. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to like in this offense. I think we can keep up. I think we can find a way to win at the end. Uh, may, again, this could just be a circumstance where whoever has the ball last wins, but that being the case, it's a coin flip. So if it's going to be a coin flip, then really, why not us? Why not us? Why not the Huskies? So I'm going to say we find a way to win this game. I'm going to say like 44 to 41, high scoring, back and forth. And then we find a way, we move to 3-0, and and in a few days we will be ranked. But, of course, like I said, when a game is back and forth, it can go either way. So I'm prepared for it to go the other way. It could be 44 to 41 Michigan State. I, I, I just feel like both defenses are going to give up a lot in this game. It's just the sense that I'm getting here. Both defenses are probably kind of feeling themselves a little bit right now because they beat up on really bad teams, really bad offenses. But when they get to this game, I have a feeling it's going to be a different level that they may not be fully tuned in for. What I am hoping to see from this defense is just the ability to tackle because uh, that's something that we really weren't good at last year. And through two games, it's been pretty good. But in a game like this, if you're not tackling properly, Michigan State's going to make you pay because of their elite rushing attack. That, that is a team that is going to keep trying to pound you, keep trying to pound you on the ground until they find a way to make it work because that's their formula and they have a pretty good understanding of that. Um, the, the way that we win this game decisively, I think, is we jump on them. If we jump on Michigan State early and go up by several scores, maybe we force them out of that rushing attack. So it's, it's going to be on this passing attack to create some big plays, and they can do it. They absolutely have the ability to do it. They've shown that in the first couple games, but are you going to translate it to a team that is much better? Even if their defense is not their best suit. I mean, you look at Michigan State last year, they didn't have an amazing defense. They had an okay defense, so I'm not thinking they're suddenly one of the best defenses in the country because they beat up on two really bad teams. But it's still probably a harder proposition to handle than... Portland State and Kent State and, and teams like that. So, interested to see. I will be streaming the game tomorrow, I believe. If not, I'll let you guys know. And bow down to Washington. See you later.